In the new world of AI, data is the new oil. But the old web scraping methods will give you HTML files that you have to search through to get that good oil. So now anyone from AI companies that want to find high quality data to train their models to dropshippers and e-commerce owners that want to see their competitors price and stock to real estate agents that are manually scrolling through Zillow and Airbnb are looking for a new way to find high quality, accurate data without getting stuck on CAPTCHAs because you're a bot or rate limiting from APIs and even geo restrictions without needing to sort through all this useless HTML and without breaking any legal or ethical compliance. Why this is a huge potential is imagine you're a dropshipper or e-commerce owner and you have hundreds of competitors that are selling the exact same product as you. With real-time information, you can see their price, so you can undercut their price, or if they have zero left in stock, you can increase the price so you have a competitive advantage. Just imagine how much more money you would make then. So today we're gonna to talk about Bright Data that makes all of this data collection super easy so you can get the most valuable data for you. Hey, what's up, AI Squad? My name is Andy and I show you how to use AI tools to increase your income and become more productive. So Bright Data came across my desk when I was working on a web scraper to scrape social media. But I ended up in the exact same problems that I was talking about in the intro where it just was too cumbersome for me to even use. So that's why I started talking back and forth with Bright Data and they ended up sponsoring this video so I can show you exactly how you can easily get the best data for you. And it's happening in a couple of different ways and I'll show you the absolute easiest one right now which is the data set. One of my favorite things is obviously that Bright Data is focusing on giving high quality training data to AI models and LLMs. So you can see all these that we're gonna go through in a minute, but this fact kind of shocked me a little. Every 15 minutes, our customers scrape enough data to train ChatGPT from scratch. And this includes some free popular data sets for training AI models. And I wanna dive into that right now. So I'm now on the inside to show you all the data sets they have. What this is, is a collection of websites that they are scraping for you on a daily basis. So you don't have to make your own custom scraper. You can just use some of these data sets that get updated on a daily basis. So here we're, for example, on Amazon, you can see the Amazon bestsellers that has 3.4 million records. You also have top rating products that has 22 million records. So if you're an e-commerce owner and you just wanna see data from Amazon, you don't have to make a custom scraper to do that. You can just use this data set instead to make it a lot easier for you. So for e-commerce, you can use this for price comparison, understanding the trends and product overviews, even add it to ChatGPT that I'm gonna show you a little bit later in this video. Even social media data, they have information from Facebook to TikTok to YouTube. Because I love YouTube, let's click on this one. For example, they have one data set here with YouTube profiles that has 29 million records. And if you wanna go into it and view the subset, you can obviously click just right here and you will see what type of data we get. As as you can see, you have the URL, the title of the video, the YouTuber, you even have the video URL, video length. You can see that all of these are over 1 million views because that's the data set that we're looking at. You can even see the subscribers they have and all this useful information could help you create better video ideas or if you're a software, train an AI model on these videos and titles to give more value to your tool. If we go into the Zillow data set, you can see a popular subset is for example, properties with more than three bedrooms, two bathrooms in California or Texas. You can view that and see the status of the home. For example, this one is sold, this one is other. You have the exact address. You see the bedrooms, the bathrooms, and even the price, year built, street address, zip code, and all the available information right here so you don't have to go searching. If we go to the Amazon bestsellers list, the sample data shows the title, seller name, brand, description, initial price, and the final price, if it's in stock, even the review count. 
and you can obviously download all the reviews as well if that's the data set you want. So I hope you can see the value of having these up-to-date data sets that you don't have to do your own scraper to do this. You can just use their already made data sets to make it super simple for you with no technical experience. But how can you combine this high quality data with ChatGPT to make it even more valuable to you? I'm just gonna download a sample to show you, head over to ChatGPT and drag the Amazon products in here. Then you can use the powerful data analyst that is inside of ChatGPT. Since we only have a sample, I'm gonna ask it which products here are over $100 and the new data analysis feature actually helps you to go from 1000 products into just the 120 that has over $100. If we wanna turn this into a graph, I can prompt it, can you make a graph of the products over $200 where the graph includes the price and the name of the product? And it gave us this amazing graph. I'm gonna ask it to make a little bit of a bigger space so we can read the text. And just like that, we got an amazing graph. Now I see the products that are the most expensive are like the Pro Hair Straightening Cream or Face Wash, Daily Exfoliating Cleanser, exotic aromas essential oil but we also have this like full camera cage or electric bone saw machine so if we were to remove that we could just prompt it only keeping the products that are related to health and cleanliness like face wash hair straightening etc and not tech or camera gear post and just like that our data went from a thousand listings down to just the most valuable one next let's try to do the properties with more than three bedrooms and two bathrooms in california and texas i'm gonna download the sample drag it into ChatGPT. then let's for example ask it can you list all the properties here that is only in texas and just like that we got a new document here as you can see we can just scroll through all the properties that are in texas about 235 of them. We also have this price data that I would love to show off in the graph. I'm gonna prompt it, can you make a graph for me that shows the price of the homes from high to low, including the city name. Wow, here we go. Can't really see it when it's on the side like this. So of course we can ask it to make it a vertical graph. I'm gonna remove the ones over 1 million and also the ones that have $0. Now say we only want a budget of 400,000 to 600,000. There we go, a lot cleaner. If you're a real estate agent and your client has this budget, this would save you so much time. I wanna turn this back to a sheet so we can see all the data. Now we can see all the different properties with a lot more information. So here you see we have a bunch of different bedroom types and bathroom, also year built. So we could be extremely focused on exactly what the buyer wants. And this was only the sample data. Imagine you have just your specific data that you can use this on. But what can we learn from the YouTube data? Videos with more than 1 million views. I'll drag it into ChatGPT and we've got about a thousand videos or so. Let's ask it about just the top 100 ranked by views. I'm mostly interested in the titles here and I can see an AI company train a YouTube title maker on some of this data. Seems like Coca-Cola is taking the lead here. Coca-Cola versus Mentos. Maybe that is a lot of the sample data we have. I would love to do this with custom data in my niche. Yep, most of them are soft drink related, which I think is what the sample data we have is about. Let's do something like only include, so let's narrow it even more. I'm gonna prompt it, can you make a scatter plot graph to show the correlation between subscribers and views? Okay, this data is actually really cool. It seems like we have a couple of outliers here. So let's try to tighten it. Keep only videos inside of 100 million subscribers and within 300 million views. Let's check it out. Wow, this makes the data a lot better. I just love this new data analysis tool. I love doing data analysis inside of ChatGPT. But what if they don't have a data set that is for your specific use case where you actually have to create something custom to get that exact data? So the data set marketplace is very overarching and has a lot of the most popular websites. But if you need something even more custom, you can easily go to this custom data sets tab where they have two different options for you. The first one, fully managed data sets, is ideal for clients seeking a hands-off experience or guidance in defining their project. This is gonna be the easiest one for anyone where all you need to do is just enter your target website and then share details for your request. 
but if you actually want a little bit more hands-on to define the data set yourself and then let them help you collect and automate that, you can choose the custom defined data set. How this works is in three simple steps, setup, schema, and checkout. I'm gonna show you that right now. So imagine we're gonna scrape the website of my friend Matt Wolf with this amazing website called Future Tools that shows all the different tools that pops up that he's updating weekly. We can easily enter something like Future Tools, new AI tools, data set context could be something like collect data of newly added AI tools from this website, including the name of the tool, description, category, and upvotes, and include some links. Next, they will review this data set and analyze the target domain once it's finished, we can click on review. It then gives us this schema right here that has all of these different features. It's important to hear that you review your schema carefully before approval because it will be hard to change later. But once we've approved their schema, you can see they provide a sample. Then you can select the data collection scope, like all content on a website part of the website or unique URLs, as well as estimated record count, what we should collect, where you provide a description, select if you're experienced or if you're new to this, and then complete the review. So you can get your own custom data set for your needs. But if you feel like you need even more customization and full control, that's when we go to the proxies and scraping infrastructure. As you can see, they have scraping browser, web unlocker, SERP AI, and all these different proxy networks that you can use. Let me go through the scraping browser. This is to scale dynamic scraping using an all-in-one browser with built-in unblocking and proxy infrastructure. So if you try to do any web scraping before with Puppeteer or Selenium or Playwright, which are automated browsers, you will quickly run into one of the problems, which is captchas, or they will just block your IP because you're one browser going to one website, scraping their data, and they don't want that, right? So this scraping browser is the only browser with built-in fully automated unlocking capabilities. So that includes the captcha solving, browser fingerprinting, and proxy management. So this allows you to unlock website at scale, and it's kinda looks like 100 different users from all different places going to one different website and then scraping it like that. So there's no limits. And with the scraping browser, any website that you can see on your screen can be scraped, which is something that you can't normally do through any other method. And then we have the web unlocker. This is very similar to the browser. However, this is more simplistic as it's aimed to help on just going to one single website and then taking one piece of information that doesn't require any interaction. And then we have the SERP API. So this is specifically made for people that want to scrape search data from your favorite browser. So you can get high quality data from your favorite search engine. So I've now gone through the most popular tools in Bright Data so you can get high quality data faster. And I'm wondering, what are you gonna use this for? Drop a comment down below. And I have a special link in the description. If you click that, you get free credit. You can use it completely for free on your project. I hope this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.